Hello and welcome back to Life at Massive. I've been listening to your feedback and you've all been asking for me to dive more into the actual work happening at Massive with the projects and uh, how game development works. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. Wait, what is this? What? This is just for social engagement. You know, remind people to like and subscribe. No, no, there, there's no need for that. Everybody that's watching knows that the more that you like and subscribe, the more freedom and access I'll be getting in upcoming vlogs. Ah, okay. Well, I guess still, like and subscribe and follow for more. But yes, today I'm going to be diving more into sound design. More specifically, oh no's. And, uh, well, I could try and explain what that is, but that's why I meet up with the experts. Uh, so yeah, let's find out. Voice design is a subset of audio design. We're responsible for designing, coordinating, planning, processing, and implementing the hundreds of thousands of voice and dialogue assets in the game. Uh, whether that's dialogue for cinematics, scripted VO, NPC barks, crowd sound effects, or Onos. Onos is the term that we use internally for what other people call effort, grounds, and vocalizations. So basically, these are voice assets that our character use in-game that do not involve words. So this could be sounds such as climbing a tree, getting shot, dying, lifting something heavy, and basically any other assets that doesn't involve speech but is still voice. And so today we're going to uh, do some oh no's. And of course, since we work in games, uh, everything is super secret and we can't show you any game assets on anything that we're working on. So I had the brilliant idea of uh, creating a little short movie that I'm going to show to you now. And you're basically going to go through the process that you would usually do of breaking down wh where you would want oh no's. And then we'll record it, get it in, and you'll see the film at the end. Sounds great. Cool. Yeah. Let's so take let's, uh, let's take a look. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm just marking the, the frames where we need to put the sounds. <laughs> now, when you bump in there, Okay, you do the jump, you bump into the barrier and you do the jump first. You can actually make a sound also when you turn around because you're like wearing like Yeah, it's <laughs> like an effort yeah. sound maybe. <laughs> and then we have an NPC going uh, aggro. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I think it's definitely a huh. <laughs> I was thinking for the, the group at the end. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if we want some sort of like group speaking. Oh, like right. Murmur. Yeah, so that's what we call walla or rhubarb. Yes, that's another term for it. If, if it's if it's not actual speech, then it's... Oh, <laughs> oh, here, this lady deserves a scream. <laughs> well, like, just generally, what we've got here is a very kind of literal, cartoonish vibe yeah. that actually Ono's, you know, these sorts of non-speech vocalizations really lend themselves well to. I think we're ready to start. And so after a nice recording session, I uh, got all the files from Hannah here and I put it into the movie and now it's time to watch the results and see if uh, we've brought new life to the piece. Cool, I'm excited. Let's cool. see it. And of course, there could be a lot more, uh, you know, special audio effects put in, but I wanted to just focus on the own notes and not distract. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Let's try it out. Ah. <sighs> 
Huh? Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Hey! to here this is great back to the grind oh yeah <laughs> yeah oh this and it was so fulfilling uh, now of course having made onos just for a linear video is mm -hmm. a lot different than when doing it for a for a game because yes. here yes we found the beach where we needed something but it was also oh we need one of these one of these one but mm -hmm. for a game i mean the process is a little bit different yes a little bit because here we had the video and we were aiming for like one perfect take. Um, but actually in video games, yeah, we aim to have like maybe 10 or 30 or maybe more sometimes mm. uh, perfect takes. So we can just play them as a pool of assets yeah. for an animation where you're, for example, like getting punched. It makes the, feel, the game feel alive actually. Yeah. So yeah, as if you were living a living character and just making a different sound each time you jump in the yeah. air. But yeah, thank you so much. That yeah. was, a, was a fun little project. Yeah, thank you so much. And um, for all of you, make sure to watch the next vlog as I try to dive deeper into the inner workings of Massive. <laughs>